Hi, this is the Ask Steve Show, and I'm Steve, and today we're going to do a how-to um, little demonstration here, and it's on the Magic Card Enduro Plus, and we're going to show you how to load the cards in that printer, um, and we're also going to have the bad photo idea of the day, as always. Um, before we get started on our how-to, I want to talk a little bit about the printer. This is the Magic Card Enduro Plus, and the Plus stands for the, it gives you the ability to go from a one-sided printer to a two-sided printer by just dropping in a little RFID core that will convert it over for you. Um, obviously there's a cost to that, but call us about that. We can help you with it. And Ethernet, um, it comes with USB standard. If you want Ethernet, you again, drop in a core with an RFID chip in it. It'll change it over to Ethernet connection. Um, it has four Holocote options. No other printer has Holocote besides MagicCard. It frosts the overlay panel and creates a security image in there and you can also do a custom one so if you want your logo in there or a symbol um, that you want custom you can have that put in there too and something that's really special about this printer too it's ICC which is International Color Consortium uh, color matching and attribute it attribute of um, matching the source image so whatever you image you collect a photo on um, it's gonna map it directly to the uh, printer itself and it makes a very good looking card. It has a two year warranty and of course you were, it's backed by the great tech service of ID Edge. And to show us how to load the cards from our tech department is Kyle, our guest host today. So take it away Carl. Kyle. Thanks Steve. So today we're just going to uh, load and unload the cards. It's really simple. Um, maybe you've seen our Rio Pro videos. It's the same exact method as most other card printers. Um, for the Magic Cards, their card hoppers are going to be in the back here. And this is their card hopper. You're just going to stick the card in here, and we are going to go and just drop it in. Um, one method that we suggest before you put cards in is to always fan the edges. That way you relieve the static within the cards and you won't have any issues. Um, on these newer uh, model printers, uh, especially like on the Enduro and the Rio Pro, they have an automatic card gate. So there's a spring inside and it's got a plate and that just pushes down to automatically adjust for the cards going through it. So it prevents double feeding your cards. Um, the front hopper on these printers are just kind of a snap in. Um, you know, they pull out real easy and they just kind of fit and sit right in. Um, the input hopper is 100 cards, and the output hopper fits around 50 cards, depending on your thickness of your PVC's cards. Okay, that's easy? Yep. All right, thanks Kyle, and uh, here's that bad photo ID picture of the day, and while you're looking at that, um, if you have any questions, submit them to us on our Facebook link on our website, and if it's used on the show, we'll send you a gift. You can reach us at by calling us at 800 798-3343 or going to our website, idedge.com.